My name is Kat McDonald and I am the owner of Racing Edge Fitness. We are located today actually in our kitchen down in Charlotte. Um, I'm also based out of Mooresville, North Carolina. I work with um, Terry Chavez. She's out of Charlotte. She owns the Gourmet Lunchbox in Charlotte. And what her and I really have done is work closely together to develop these meals. What I'll do on my own, my, my responsibility really is to research the, you know, each meal, research the calories, all of that. I'll break that down for her and then get with her every week, pretty much go over the menu, explain sort of what I'm looking for in the meal, and then that's where she takes her culinary background experience and then researches actually the, the proper food items to make the meal not only healthy to and to satisfy the caloric intake, but in addition to make it still taste good. Basically, I came up with the concept for Racing Edge Fitness. It was about a year and a half ago, and it's a company basically that deals with the nutritional needs of the NASCAR community. I was a personal trainer at a local gym in Mooresville, and I started training, you know, I trained a, a truck team pit crew, and then I started training David Gilliland. He was at the time a Bush Series driver. So I remember that's kind of how I really got into the NASCAR community. My first team actually that, that jumped on for On the Road was Furniture Row Racing out of Denver. They're doing about 100 meals per weekend. Went to Hendrick, the 88 and 5 guys, and they're at about two, between 200 and 250 per weekend, depending really on if it's a night race, if you know how long we're at the track. From there, the 48, the 24 came on board, and they're about 250 meals a weekend as well. And then Everham, the all three Everham teams are on, and they're actually at about 300. Basically, I have um, three main drivers that's on my program right now. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has been on for, I'd say probably four to five months so far. Casey Mears has been with me, gosh, he's been with me for basically since the beginning. And Brad Keselowski, Jr.'s driver there for the Bush team or the Nationwide scene. With all three of them, I treat them a little bit different. I do home deliveries for them. So every Monday, I'm delivering up to Dale Jr.'s house and to Brad's house. And basically, I'll just bring the food up to their house, stock it in their refrigerators, make sure that they've got some good meals for the week. These meals that I prepare are going to give them more energy. It's gonna, you know, they're gonna sustain their energy levels throughout a race. One of our popular meals is a turkey burger with red roasted potatoes on the side. What you wanna do first is take the lean, it's lean ground turkey, you wanna season it, and then measure it out. That's the most important thing, is you wanna weigh all of your protein, especially. You just pat it into a patty, and then we'll bake it, we'll broil it in the oven, and in addition, red roasted potatoes, when they're seasoned and also baked in the oven, like a, a french fry. So we'll do that, and, and that's uh, one of our meals that a lot of people request. Basically, what we're gonna do now is we've got all the meals prepared for Everham, and all the meals prepared for Hendrix uh, 5 and 88 teams. So what Justin does is he takes up Everham, we're gonna label those meals, pack it up in bags. We also have to pack some in a cooler on dry ice and then Justin will take that up to Everham to load on their truck. Misty and myself, we handle Hendrix, basically the five of the 88 meals. We'll label it at the shop and then pack it up into their refrigerators and then send them on their way to Pocono. Okay, we just got up to the Hendrix shop. We're here at the five and the 88. And what we do now is basically as soon as we get here, we pull into the garage where it's air conditioned and we'll just start unloading. And what we do is we unload all the food, bring it over to the trucks, and then we're gonna start labeling it, putting it in the fridges, and get it ready to go on the road. Okay, now what we're gonna do is, these are the refrigerators that are kept on the haulers. And as you can see, they're very small. <laughs> So that's why we have the big one out there. But what I do is I load the breakfast on, so then this is all set. We'll load the rest in the fridge out there, and we'll be good to go. 